Okay, boys and girls, so you need to make sure first and foremost that your name is up here on the top of this because when you're finished with it, you're going to need to tear it out on the perforations and um, it will be turned in this week. So put your name at the top. You should have already highlighted some things when you read it and completed it yesterday. You need a checking pen um, and your highlighter so that you can make corrections to this before you turn it in. If you need to pause the video to go get your materials, go ahead and do so. Okay, so let's take a look at number one. It says, what can you conclude about the captain and the first mate? So, looking at that question, highlighting keywords, we're going to conclude, which is the same thing as making an inference. We're drawing a conclusion, not drawing a picture, but making pulling things together to draw a conclusion about the captain and the first mate. So remember that when we infer or conclude, you need to look back in the text for evidence and think about what you know. So if you look back about the captain, you can see here in the, in the beginning, he's up there shouting orders and staggering across the deck. So he's up there in the storm. Can't even stay upright, okay? He's yelling for them motioning for them to get down below. Then our narrator goes on to talk about the panic and what happens if we hit the rocks and he lunges for an opening in the deck and dives down in there. See his crew members. And then the next time we see anything about the captain it says, and then the storm swept past. Those of us crouched in the hold climbed up onto the deck to find calm seas and clear skies. There was no sign of the captain or the first mate. Once we reached our home port, we unloaded. Then we made repairs and made ready for a new captain who would steer us back out to sea. So again, our question says, what can you conclude about the captain and the first mate? Well, Use what you know, okay? I know they were in a storm and in a boat and that that could be very dangerous. I know that they had huge waves and the last we saw the captain, he was up on the deck. Um, and I think we can pretty much conclude because of that information that the captain and the first mate were swept out to sea. the storm and probably died. Okay, the other piece of evidence we have there that they said they would have a new captain who would steer us so they had to replace the captain. Okay, number two, what generalization can you make about sailors like the ones in the selection? So making a generalization is just basically making an inference um, using just a little bit of information and you can say in general I think sailors like the ones in the selection could be described as blah blah blah. So looking back in the selection what do we know about the sailors? Well we know the captain's calling them boys and um, that they're out at sea. <laughs> we know that um, they went through this awful, awful ordeal, and then at the end, they're getting home, they're just going to make repairs, get a new captain, and go back out to sea. So what generalization can you make about the sailors? There are several things we could say. We could say um, we can generalize that most sailors were young and strong because we know that this work was very difficult and very took a lot of um, muscle to be a sailor. Um, you could also say we can generalize that they were brave. How do we know they were brave? Well, they've been through this huge ordeal and they're still going to go back. They're just going to make the repairs and go back out to sea. Um, many of the sailors were also um, 
didn't maybe have a lot of family. They were kind of um, loners, I guess. Um, enjoyed being out there in the ocean with the um, with nature, pretty much. So you could make a lot of different generalizations, um, but definitely they were. Most of them were young, strong, and brave. Okay, so. You may have had something different. Just stop and think. Does mine make sense? Is that a generalization I could make about sailors based on the ones in the selection? Um, all right, that's it. So you need to very quietly tear this out of your um, workbook. And you're going to put it in your folder until it's time to turn in our work. All right. Next, you may work independently. Um, read independently or work in blue.